cheesiness and I am um, here. My name is Rhonda Hagen. I am a Spologist with Spology by Steve T and I'm here with my husband, my taste tester. And we are here to uh, launch uh, the fall and winter catalog from Spology and we're so excited. There's some amazing, amazing um, new products that they're launching. Anyways, I'm going to show you just a few things, and um, if you want to see more, then make sure you throw a comment uh, party in the comments, and I will send you an invitation to my VIP group, and you can see more of what Sipology's Fall and Winter Catalog has. Anyways, I am super excited to show you what is in here. All right, so, oh my gosh. He's always a joker. <laughs> okay, so I hope you have an amazing day and um, if you're watching live, make sure you say hello. I'd love to say hi. If you watch later, throw me a hashtag replay. And if you are watching in Instagram or YouTube, make sure you throw in the comments party as well and I will send you a link uh, to my Facebook at VIP group. There's lots of deals going on, tons of giveaways. You don't want to miss out. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is taste test this amazing recipe. Okay, you guys are gonna love this. Okay, so Sipology has naturally sweet line and it is sweetened by, with stevia leaf and the leaf is different than stevia, stevia um, that you have with other um, stevia companies and that is because it is a lot of times processed and you get that funny aftertaste. I like the naturally sweet line. Um, I typically don't like a lot of stevia and I love Sipology so it doesn't bother me at all. So I'm excited about this new one, Naturally Sweet Iced Cappuccino. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So um, the ingredients in this one is black tea, coffee beans, apple pieces, roasted mate tea, stevia leaf, uh, goji berries, cocoa beans, and natural flavor. Mm -hmm. And speaking of natural flavor, sorry my hat is... Um, <laughs> Yeah, you can see the actual leaves. This doesn't look like tea dust like you um, you see in tea bags. Hey, Crystal. Um, anyways, so <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm kind of all over the place. What I wanted to say, uh, my hat keeps. Maybe if I go like this. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to take it off. Ah! <laughs> fail. Hat fail. Okay, now you can see my husband. So... <laughs> what I wanted to say before I got interrupted by my hat um, was Sipology sells all natural products and uh, they have organic teas, loose leaf teas, um, tons of premium matcha as well as um, functional soups and drinks and uh, supplements and they have a Heal Thyself line that's amazing um, and that's approved by Health Canada and the FDA. So getting back to this. So this naturally sweet iced cappuccino, oh my gosh, tastes like the real thing. So what I did um, was I, fr I, I double, I steeped it double strength. Hey Raquel, I steeped it double strength and um, I cold steeped it. So I just put it in the fridge overnight and um, I put it into ice cube trays and I blended it in the blender. I added just a splash of maple syrup because I was adding milk to it. So I added, personally, I like protein milk, so uh, you could use substitute uh, if you're sensitive, um, although the protein milks usually are uh, dairy-free, and um, you can use regular dairy. So what I did is I put a half a cup, a whole tray of uh, the ice, the naturally sweet iced cappuccino ice, um, and then I added a half a cup of milk or dairy or dairy substitute, um, and then a splash of maple syrup because I feel like um, ice caps have that a little bit of a maple um, taste. So I'm going to ask Justin Wanna to be? try it. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. I tried it earlier. It's so good. It tastes just like the real thing in my opinion. And way less sugar. Like it doesn't have barely anything. Just in the milk. <laughs> and the maple syrup. Oh my, this is like store-bought like in the yeah. restaurant. And you can save money and make it's it at like home. It's like store quality. Like, it's perfect because it's not too sweet. And I hate sweet stuff. But this is like, people pay money for this in restaurants. And... Okay, so what I wanted mm. to do also, I wanted to taste it without the maple syrup. Um, and so I, I have leftover. So really my 
I only took half a pot, um, half a perfect tea. Sorry, <laughs> half a prism pot made one or made two trays of ice, and I only used one tray of ice, so I have one for later, which I'm excited about. So I'm just going to pour the leftovers in here, and I'm just gonna. Add a splash. You could use half and half. You could use just milk. It depends on what you want. But the stores usually for iced coffee, coffees usually use um, cream. So I'm just going to do it that way. And I'm going to do it without the maple syrup. I want to see if it's. I'll let Justin taste it first. Well, let's just it's like an it. iced coffee. Let's mix it first. Okay. okay. Ready? He's pretty honest, so. Yeah. That's pretty good too. So this is just the stevia. Good. That's good. And that's an ice is to replace your iced coffees, right? And it's made with love. Yes, it is Raquel. It's made with love. And I want to try some. I haven't tried it this way. It's good. <clears throat> it's not too strong. That's really good. Yeah. Um, you could add a little bit more sweetener. And speaking of sweetener, I'm going to talk talk to you about this one. So Sapology also. Sure. Um, I'm going to show them. Oh, he's bossy. Um, they um, are launching the Simply Sweet Monk Fruit Sweetener. So the thing I want to say about this monk fruit sweetener, hey Christy, is that um, normally monk fruit has erythritol attached to that and you can get a lot of stomach upset with erythritol. A lot of people are sensitive to that. I know I am a bit sensitive to that. Um, and it's basically just erythritol is just like a filler for the monk fruit. And this has no carbs, um, <laughs> no sugar. I'm not sure if it has any calories. I can't remember. Let's see. So it is basically 200 times the sweetness of regular table sugar. And so you only need a quarter of a teaspoon. It comes with a scoop. Uh, it has zero calories, zero anything really. <laughs> um, and uh, it comes in three different flavors. So you can um, have vanilla. I believe it's vanilla cinnamon and just regular original. So I'm excited to play around with this and get some recipes going and show you um, how you can use this. You can just add this to tea, but this so I'm sure good. there's other ways. This is so good. This is the first one. Yeah, it's, that's my favorite so far. Mm. I'm so excited. Uh, no more to me. Sorry, Timmy. I'm going to make it at home. Okay, so the... Actually, I'm going to go on to this one next. So I wanted to also show you this amazing new product, the Smote, Smooth, oh my gosh, I'm failing today, Smooth Oat Creamer, um, and it is powder. Uh, it is a, um, to replace your, your creamer. So it's gluten-free, vegan-friendly, rich in vitamin D, and a source of calcium. And what I love also about it is it has MCT oil powder in it. So that's amazing for our brain function. So the ingredients in this are, um, oh, sorry, wait, sorry, organic oat sugar or is organic cane sugar, MCT oil powder. Um, what else here? Sea salt, oat fiber, organic button mushroom powder, which is also good for us. So two teaspoons is 30 calories, five carbohydrates, only three grams of sugar. Uh, and this is great for people who are lactose sensitive, great for people who are traveling, hiking, um, but well, yeah. I thought it said organic butt mushroom. <laughs> Button mushroom. So oh butt mushroom He's a boy. Yeah. I don't know. It's organic. So. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, so you only need about two teaspoons in this per serving. I mean, you could add more if you like, if you like it more creamy. But um, yeah, I'm excited about this new product. It's great for lattes and things like that. Okay, so another, oh, let's see what is this is called, I don't want to say the wrong name. So I also made a cherry cider, and this is in our cocktail mixer line, it's a fruit tea. It's got apple pieces, papaya pieces, um, currants, cinnamon chips, orange peel cloves, beetroot, ginger root, cherries, uh, star night, I don't know if I said that right, uh, cardamom, calendula petals, natural flavors, and this is caffeine free. So what I did was I just made... I made this into a spritzer, so I added soda water, um, and I added about um, about four teaspoons of um, the tea leaves, and I steeped that, poured it in ice, and then I added a little bit of vanilla bean syrup, because it's got a little bit of spice in there, and this would be, I tasted it already, it would be amazing um, hot uh, as well, and you could add some rice, maybe some 
or uh, some rum. I can't talk today, you guys. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Um, some spiced rum would be amazing in this. But anyways, I'm going to try it. It's so hot here. I'm not going to have hot drinks today. Not many anyways. So I'm going to give this to the husband. This is just <coughs> kind of a light spritzer. Uh, it's a nice fall spritzer. This would make a nice sangria, actually, too, like a, a spicy sangria. Oh, that's different. That's good. It's like a fall flavor, hey? A little bit of vodka. Yeah, yeah. a little bit of vodka in there would be good. But spiced rum would be good, too, mm -hmm. with hot. Hot spice, with spiced rum. I bet it's... That's a unique taste. I've never tasted this taste before. What is that? Um, this is a cherry cider, and I, I added vanilla bean to it. I've never tasted it. A sugar-free vanilla bean. It's good. It's, I never had this taste before. It's good. It's different. It's a keeper. Yeah, I, I think I would like it hot though. I think I prefer it hot and I prefer it with a spice rum. See, I prefer it cold over ice. Really? Well, we'll try, we'll try it uh, maybe live another time hot <laughs> and see what he really likes better. Um, but anyways, that's all you guys I have to say. I'm going to pop into my VIP group and I'm going to be showing lots more things. We're going to have tons of great giveaways. So I hope to see you there. I'm going to put the link um, to my VIP group in the comments. Hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Everybody. Bye. <laughs>